Hello, I'm Alex Andrushenko, development lead at SQL Server Management Pack team. This video includes SQL Server VNX Monitoring Management Pack Overview and Demo. In this session, I'll explain what is a SQL Server VNX Management Pack. We will explore its new monitoring models, new features available in the CTP2 release. After that, I will show you a demo of these new features. The SQL Server VNX Management Pack enables monitoring of the SQL Server VNX, including SQL Server on Linux platform. It also supports not only classic monitoring with COM agent, but also allows you to monitor your SQL Server remotely via Transact SQL. This Management Pack has improved performance and supportability by migrating from scripts to managed code. Let me remind you that Microsoft SQL Server vNext is a one product that works on two platforms, Microsoft Windows and Linux. New Management Pack was designed to provide monitoring for the SQL Server vNext on both platforms. Management Pack implements three different monitoring scenarios. Designed to monitor SQL Server on Linux platform, reduce performance impact on the monitoring platform, and simplify security configuration. I will walk you through these monitoring modes. Out-of-the-box experience is the same as on previous versions of the SQL management packs. DB Engine, databases, and other objects are discovered and monitored automatically by the SCOM agent deployed on the SQL Server computer. This scenario is applicable in most cases. The new agent with mode enables SQL Server databases monitoring using Transact SQL. You don't need to deploy SCOM agent on the SQL Server computer using this mode. You just need to specify SQL Server connection string and credentials to enable monitoring. This model is implemented to support SQL on Linux, but you can also enable it to monitor SQL Server on Windows platform. To combine benefits of the automatic discovery provided by default agent monitoring mode and reduce performance impact of the monitoring scenarios to the SQL Server, you should enable mixed monitoring mode. I write the discovery properties and convert DB engines to mixed monitoring mode. Conversion happens on the fly without deleting the objects and all historical data is persisted. As you know, we have published CP CTP1 in December and now I am happy to announce that SQL Server Next Management Pack Community Technology Preview 2 is already available for download. Many new features like space monitoring, event collection in memory OTP, monitoring and improved ad monitoring wizard have been added. Part of the improvements you will be able to see on the demo. Now I will show you a demo of this management pack. First of all, let me show you a blog post about new management pack on SQL Server release services blog. As you can see from this table, there is a significant difference between CTP and CTP1 versions. And here we have a download link for the management pack. As usually to enable SQL Server monitoring, IT operation downloads management pack package from the Microsoft Download Center and imports management pack files to the System Center Operations Manager. This environment is already pre-configured with all SQL Server with next management packs, so I will not import them again. And here I have an important note. Unfortunately, SQL Server with next uh, Community Technology Preview 1 management pack is not upgrade compatible with CTP2. So you have to uninstall previous version of the management pack before importing the new version. Switching to the monitoring tab, Microsoft SQL Server folder contains all presentation for the new SQL Server VNX management packs. 
out of the box, the SQL Server VNX Mansion Pack works the same as previous SQL Mansion Packs. If you have SCOM agent on the SQL computer, the SQL instance and its components will be discovered automatically. Expand folder and you will see a new folder that represents SQL Server VNX Mansion Pack. You are not limited to version specific folders. In most cases, you can work with uh, generic views on the root level. The summary data center dashboard is a single pane of glass for IT operation. You can see aggregated health of all your SQL instances and Azure SQL databases rolled up to a couple of tiles. You can add your SQL Server VNX instances under the SQL Server instance tile in a few clicks. As you can see, on this environment, I have four SQL Server VNX instances. Let me drill down to the instance layer. There are one SQL Server instance on Windows and three SQL Server instances on Linux. Now I jump to version specific dashboard here to focus on SQL Server VNX instances only. As you can see, we have many new monitors and performance metrics implemented already. Let me drill down to the instance level. And here we have uh, some uh, default UI for uh, instances, uh, same as in previous management packs. So you can see all monitoring data and health uh, information in the same view. I will not focus uh, on uh, exact uh, monitoring scenarios in this uh, demo. This will be a uh, goal for uh, upcoming demo. Now I'm going to show you uh, how to enable uh, new monitoring modes that we uh, already discussed, uh, agentless and mixed mode. So I'm going to switch to the authoring. And here you can see that we have a new template. As you can see, I already have uh, some templates pre-created on this environment. So now I am going to show you how to enable agentless monitoring. So you have to uh, select a SQL Server VNX template, click Next, populate uh, properties and uh, select Override Management Pack. After that, uh, you able to add instances and you are, should not add it one by one. You can add it uh, bulk like I will do. I will add two simultaneously. Important thing that here you should select uh, uh, run as uh, profile that will be common for all uh, your SQL instances. And uh, in the same time, you can specify connection string and uh, check this checkbox. And if your connection string contains uh, credentials, in this case, uh, dedicated run as profile will be created. So after that, you click next and it start testing. You can click on mm, instance and uh, check for progress. At the bottom, it will show you a detailed message uh, what's going on. Depending on performance of your environment, it may take uh, some time, but usually not too long. As you can see, one instance is already uh, tested and reported that connection is succeeded. And uh, here we have uh, uh, Linux Ubuntu. And the second one also done. And here we have another instance. So 
basically uh, that's all you need to do to enable agent West monitoring uh, right after you click create button uh, your SQL server instance start uh, monitoring immediately as you can see new template uh, was created and here we have uh, two instances uh, from this page you can add more instances uh, in the same template uh, or edit uh, instance properties or change uh, runs account for exact instance after some time usually again it's not too long uh, you uh, will be able to see new instances discovered so right now i have uh, two instances on this environment and after some time there will be four instances Now the first instance is discovered. And now second instance is also available. So basically that's all you need to do to uh, get your instance uh, monitored uh, uh, agent with uh, via transact SQL. To enable mixed mode monitoring, uh, you need First of all, discover uh, your SQL instance uh, on Windows in a standard way. As you can see, I have uh, here one uh, SQL instance uh, Winx that is discovered automatically because there is a local agent on the server. After that, uh, you should go to authoring and object discoveries and find uh, discovery discover local SQL server with next database engines. In the properties of this discovery, you should make an override for class or you also can select uh, a group or some any other target as you wish. And here we have a property agentless monitoring. Here you have a, a type name of the instance you want to switch to the agentless monitoring you can place multiple values and they should be separated by comma every instance that uh, has such override uh, uh, its monitoring load will be moved to the SCOM monitoring pool and it can be useful if you want to uh, keep all your monitoring data and you want to move uh, monitoring load from production server to uh, SCOM monitoring pool that's all about demo for today thank you so much for watching this video presented to you by Microsoft and Viacode SQL Server development team Please download SQL Server with next management pack and provide your feedback. Don't forget to follow us on blog and Twitter.